In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how I color correct, color grade my footage and how I make sure I get my skin tones right because whenever I'm applying a LUT, I, it's very easy to get throw off my skin tones. I'm going to show you my, my process of making sure that at the end, whatever comes out, that I preserve my skin tones. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want, want to open my, up my, my um, scopes because I don't want to rely on my eyes to do all these changes. It, it's not a good idea to, unless you're you know, super professional and, and you've had a lot of experience, when you're beginning, your eyes will lie to you. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Command 7. And this brings up our waveform. Let's see. Luma. And this gives us a grayscale. As you can see, 0% black and 100% white. So this image is pretty dark. That's why you see a lot of dark colors uh, closer to 0%. This goes from left to right. This right here represents my, my face. And this represents the light bulb. As you can see, it's almost uh, blown out to 0 200% I mean. Just so we can focus on skin tones for right now, I'm going to apply a shape mask because we're going to be using this on and off uh, throughout this this whole this whole process. So to do that, we go over here to the effects um, mask. I apply a shape mask to my footage. I want to make this into a circle. I want to turn off the feathering. Then I want to bring it in. Okay, so it's right on my skin. And it's right here on the grayscale is showing that it's at 75%. For my skin tones, I want it to be around 50 to 60%. Um, in the description, I'll link to a video which will tell you what percentage you want depending on your skin tone because it's different depending on whether you're Caucasian, uh, Asian, Hispanic, and Black. So uh, go ahead and take a look at the description. But for my uh, skin tones, it's around 50 to 60 percent. It's a, it's a, I think it's fairly good. Um, to apply the color correction, do Command 6. This will take you straight to the color correction. And we're going to be doing uh, our changes in the exposure to get this uh, to come down, to get the uh, the grayscale to come down. So the first thing is I'll bring down my shadows just like a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because I want to preserve the details in the background. Since the background is black, I won't, I'm not going to bring down the shadows too much. Um, the highlights, I'm going to bring it down and you see it's bringing this whole thing down, um, the grayscale down. So the next thing I can do is bring down the midtones. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to do it too much right now. I'm not at quite at 50%, getting close to it. Uh, let's take a look at what the image looks like right now. As you can see, it's a little bit more contrasty than it was before. You see that? Um, so let's just run with this right now. And let's bring up our vector scope. This right here, since the these colors are very concentrated down the middle, it tells me that my image is, is pretty flat. Like I said, I haven't applied a LUT yet. This is a flat image. Uh, what, what I can do at this point is just apply a little bit of saturation in the global just to bring up the colors i'm not going to do a lot and it, yeah and as you see it brings up brings up a whole lot of more of the colors in the image okay so let's go back and apply the shape mask and this is what's considered the skin tone line and this is what we're going to be check be checking for most of the time we want this this are our, our colors to light along this line. And it seems it's a little bit more shifted to the left. So what I can do is I can add a little bit of blue into the highlights. So I just want to do a little bit just to get in that line. And it seems like my skin tones are in the line. So in this situation right here, doesn't matter what skin tone 
or what skin color you are, you, whether you're black, Caucasian, Hispanic, um, you want to be around this line. You don't want to be off. So let's say if you had gotten your white balance completely off, it would be somewhere around there. Your skin tones would be green. Um, let's turn you see that there's a green tone to the whole image. So if you have something like this, you had really messed up your white balance, what you can do is uh, bring down your greens using the global to zero percent. There you go. And there you go. You get you get back to your to normal. So right now it looks like I'm pretty good with the with the um, the skin tone. So I. This tells me I did a pretty good job of setting my white balance, which is what I want. The next thing I want to do is I want to apply a LUT. And I have a plugin by Motion VFX. Uh, so I apply it to my footage. And I'm going to show you why I end up not using, why I don't use most of their, their uh, most LUTs out there. Because if you look at, look at any of this, like this khaki, Let's see. I'm going to turn off the shape mask just so you can see. It gives a green tone to my whole image. Now, this might work for a movie, but for what I'm doing, I like to keep my colors very natural. I want them to pop but and have a style to them, but I still want to preserve that the natural feel to it. So this will not work for me. Most of these do the same thing. They just do a whole color shift and they don't preserve my skin tones. Let's see. Shape mask. As you can see, it's shifted to, towards the green. So... I don't like I don't like this. Um, there's a LUT I found online, and I'm gonna leave a link to that LUT in the description. It's called the A7S A7S Cine Cine by uh, Terrence Wilkins, and I really like this LUT because it does a good job of color grading and it preserves my skin tones. So let me turn off the shape mask, and as you can see, it's too overly saturated. So what I usually do is I turn this down to about I don't know 50 percent somewhere around there. And I go back to my color correction and I'm gonna bring down the saturation just lightly, not too much. And let's see what happens to uh, our skin tones. I, I turn on the shape mask and the skin tones is right on the skin tone line. So it's pretty good. Usually just because this is a personal choice, I like to put a little bit more blue into the skin tones, just a little bit, not a whole lot. You see, it's barely nothing. Um, and this is just for looks. I like the cooler feeling of the, the image. I don't I don't like uh, uh, the image to have a, I don't know, a warm look to it. I like a more cool looks to my image. And this is a personal choice. Okay, so this is basically what I do and how I color correct and how I color grade and, and check that I have correct skin tones. And let me just show you what we began with. Pretty flat image. I applied it some color correction. Looking better. And the light just brings out the colors. So I hope this helps. I know I didn't go over everything there is to know about this, but this is a general overview of what I do. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and, and ask away in the comment section and I'll get to those as soon as I can. Um, I thank you for watching and I hope this helps. I'll see you on the next video.